Hey, what's up? This is Czech Brothers. We already made video with unboxing and test of Ulefan Armor 2 and Blackview BV-8000 Pro. The smartphones are very similar to each other. We decided to compare them side by side and find out which is better. Ulefan Armor 2 and Blackview BV-8000 Pro have different design, however they have very similar hardware and prices. Right now you can buy Ulefan Armor 2 for just $235 and Blackview PV8000 Pro costs $230. In the description under the video you can find link where to buy smartphones cheaper. Perhaps design is main difference between these two smartphones. Ulefan Armor 2 is designed for travelers and active people. Blackview BV8000 Pro has more stylish design. In my opinion it's look an excellent device for business people. It perfectly fits under the suit and on the table while business meeting. Nevertheless, Blackview smartphone as strong as Ulefan Armor 2. Both smartphones have AP68 rating and high build quality. It means that you drop smartphone and immerse them of water under the depth of 1.5 meters for 1 hour without damage. If we talk about Ulefan Armor 2, it's made of polycarbonate and metal. The display is protected with Koning Gorilla Glass 3. All corners of this smartphone have protective knobs. The company calls it 360 degrees all-round protection. It helps the smartphone withstand different drops and falls. On the front panel we can see 5-inch display with big bezels around. Under the display it's home button with fingerprint reader. The waterproof earpiece and LED notifications are located above the display. The back panel is made of metal and only the edges are rubberized. On the top of back panel there is single camera sensor and speaker at the bottom. At the bottom the smartphone has USB Type-C ports. On the right side there is power and PPT buttons. On the left side has camera button. The SIM card slot on rugged phones is located at the back panel. You will need a screwdriver which comes in a box. Here you will see a slot for two SIM cards and microSD memory card. You can use two SIM cards and memory card at the same time. The same method is used on Ulefan Armor 2 and Blackview BV-8000 Pro. As for the Blackview BV-8000 Pro, it's made of plastic, but there is a metal frame. It also has IP68 rating, so it's water and dust resistant. On the front panel we have 5-inch Full HD display. Above it's 8 megapixels front camera and multicolor LED notification. The back panel is very interesting. Here you can see 16 megapixel ray camera with flashlight and speaker at the bottom. Below the display you can see backlit capacitive case. There is no physical home button like Ulefan Armor 2. There is only logo with IP68. The fingerprint reader on Blackview BV8000 Pro is located on the right side. Also there is camera button and PPT button. On the left side there is a volume rocker and power button. On top of smartphone is 3.5mm audio jack and the bottom is USB Type-C. It's interesting, the ports are not covered by any flaps, but they are completely waterproof. So, as I said, both Ulefan Armor 2 and Blackview BV-8000 Pro are high build quality rugged phones. They have different design, but both smartphones are water and drop resistant. As for the display, both smartphones come with 5-inch diagonal and Full HD resolution. They are sharp and vibrant. You can use both smartphones indoors and outdoors. By the way, display are covered by Koning Gorilla Glass 3 for protection from scratches and damages. I said that the main difference between Ulefan Armor 2 and Blackview BV-8000 Pro is in design. So here is another common scene. Both smartphones run on the latest Android 7.0 Nougat. It's stock Android system with some additional settings and apps, for example Outdoor Toolbox. Here you can find useful functions for travelers, such as flashlight, compass, gear rate, pedometer and others. As for the hardware, smartphones are equipped with same chipset and memory. 
the powered Helio P25 chipset with clock speed 2.6 GHz and graphics Mali T880, 6 GB of RAM and 64 GB of internal storage. You can use microSD memory cards up to 256 GB. If smartphone works on the same chipset and have the same memory, then performance is similar. I can prove it in benchmarks. Let's start with Antutu. Ulefan Armor 2 has about 64,000 points, and Black U PV8000 Pro scores about 65,000 points. I think that you will not notice a difference of 1,000 points in real performance. As for Hikbench 4, here's about 800 points in single core test and 3700 points in multi core test for Ulefan Armor 2, and the same result for Black View smartphone. And the last test reading mark tells the smartphone have the same performance. Now I want to show you some games on both smartphones. I must say that none of the games lag. Any Android apps and games run very quickly and smoothly. I already tested battery of both smartphones, and I can say that Ulefan Armor 2 has longer battery life. This smartphone is equipped with 4700mAh battery, while Blackview device comes with 4180mAh battery. My test shows that Ulefan Armor 2 works 8 hours and 18 minutes while playing Full HD videos on YouTube. Blackview BV8000 Pro works 7 hours and 21 minutes in the same test. If we talk about charging time, then Ulefan Armor 2 takes about 3 hours and 9 minutes for full charge, and Blackview BV8000 Pro will take 2 hours and 53 minutes. Everything is logical. A larger battery provides longer battery life, but also it takes longer to charge. If you buy Blackview smartphone, then it's work a little less, but it's faster to charge. Now let's talk about cameras. It's important thing for rugged smartphone. If you travel a lot, then you want to make a lot of memorable photos. Fortunately, both smartphones come with good cameras. A Ulefan Armor 2 comes with 16MP rear camera and 30MP front camera. The main camera center has 5.0 aperture and dual LED flash. As for the Blackview BV8000 Pro, there is the same 16MP center with aperture 5.0 on the back and 8MP front camera. The most interesting part of cameras on rugged phones is that you can take images under the water. It's really great feature and only rugged phones with AP68 rating allow to do that. You can see photos and video from both smartphones side by side to compare the quality. In the description you can find link to download images in full resolution. Most likely you will use Rugged's phone not only in the city, but also in the wild. It's important that the smartphone supports all popular communication standards. 
World Smartphones, Worksyn, GSM, WCDMA, and even LTE networks. I didn't notice any problems with cellular communications during my use. Smartphones have standard Android communication settings. Here's everything is clear without any explanations. As for additional wireless communications, the smartphone supports Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. The data transfer rate is very good. The signal reception is stable. Also, both smartphones support NFC. Speaking of locations, then Blackview BVN 1000 Pro supports GPSA and GLONASS, while Ulefon Armor 2 works with GPS and GLONASS. Smartphones has a built-in e compass and it shows a good connection. It says that you will have a stable and quick location. As you can see, Ulefon Armor 2 and Blackview BV8000 Pro are very similar smartphones. Yes, they have different design, but specifications are almost the same. First, you need to decide which design you like more, and then look at its advantages and disadvantages. Also, I should that Ulefon Armor 2 has bigger battery. That is true, and smartphone lasts longer from a single charge. If the battery is especially important for you, then this smartphone is better option. However, I like design Blackview BV8000 Pro, so I would buy this phone. Thanks for watching. In the description you can find link where to buy smartphone cheaper. Subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers.